Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're doing all well. Today, I have something fun to do with you. As it is spring and we are all starting our gardens now, I think I will do the same. Problem is, I live in a small student's flat. Oh, it's getting dark. In a small student's flat. I have just this very small balcony. Yes, that's everything. I think it's like two square meters or maybe one, one and a half. I don't know. It's very little. So I thought I will talk today about what to do with a very little balcony and how we achieve a beautiful vegetable and flower garden even there. So first things first, I want to show you what we have here. So this is the balcony as I mentioned. I already have this lavender over here and I already have the seeds here planted in this container. It's wildflower that shall attract bees. I hope they are growing very big soon. <laughs> So I bought this magical thing in a thrift store because as we have so little space here it's smart to place the plants in a shelf like this. So we have much more space to have flowers and vegetables. First I cleaned everything. By the way, the table with the pink tablecloth I bought last year. It's also great for a small place like mine, because as it is just half round, it does not take that much space, but you actually get two people seated for dinner there. And then I started to plant. I had some radish seeds I put into soil. I also bought a paprika plant I wanted to put in a bigger plant pot. Can anyone tell me why this already have ready fruits now in early spring? I don't know what they did to this plant. <laughs> And I also have this cute little zucchini. <laughs> so now we have our first guests in our shelf. We have the Miss Paprika Plant and her husband, the Lavender. And of course our little zucchini here. And the radish. But yeah, we can't see any plant here now because it's not growing yet. So it's not that exciting. <gasps> but of course, this little guy in his very, very, very big container has consumed all of our soil so we have to get new one before we can continue planting so I just head over to the garden market one eternity later in this big bowl I wanted to plant my Mediterranean herbs the oregano thyme and curry plant I bought for drainage I put stones 
on the bottom and I also mix the soil with stones I think they like this because my dad has his Mediterranean herbs just planted into stones and they grow very well so why not <laughs> On top I also decored it with some beautiful stones I got from holidays in Croatia and Norway. And I also did the same with my sage. Stones are great for Mediterranean herbs. Then I got a basil. And basil is a very complicated herb to have. First of all, I gave it a bigger container, so the roots have more space. Then I got this beautiful planter, where I put a flat stone inside like this, so the basil can stand on top of it. The basil doesn't like it to get water from above because when you do so the stems start to rot. So as it is standing on the stone you can put water inside of the planter and put the basil inside so it can get its water from underneath. If you want to water it you just put the water on the side inside the planter. Make sure that there's always water in reach for the basil because it will take as much as it needs. From underneath you can't overwater it. It's also smart to have your basil first in a shadow place in your flat, then on a sunny window and after some days it got used to the sun and you can place it outside. Because when you buy the basil it often comes from glass houses where there is no direct sunlight so it couldn't develop its natural sun protection and when you put it outside immediately it will get sunburned. You also have to know how to harvest it right. So you see on the stem of the basil this notes where two new stems are growing out on top of two leaves. Above there you cut it. You can also go further down, just leave one row so the basil can grow out there again. The same applies to all Mediterranean herbs, also to the rosemary I planted. Guys, <laughs> it's actually six weeks later. I didn't want this to happen and I didn't plant this. But I ordered plants online because of the coronavirus and they didn't arrive. <laughs> yeah, I ordered them six weeks ago. I actually think the website was fake because they are not replying to my mails I sent them asking where my plants are. Yeah, <laughs> I did a great job here. <laughs> but I have bought other plants instead. I bought strawberries and the sage flower and also this Dipladenie, whatever this is, but the picture looks nice. So I'm just going to plant everything now and I will put this shit away and clean everything up again. And then it is ready and I can show you the results and the before and the after. But I think you've seen me planting in this video enough. So I'm just going to do that now and then everything will be ready. I hope you are excited as me. Mm. I'm just going to do my job now. 
I also decided to put the pigeon spikes away because they don't look nice. And I don't care so much about pigeons anymore. Well, I think I say this as long as they don't shit on my table, but okay. <laughs> By the way, this is Jacob. His job is to scare the pigeons away. But as you see here, they think he's more like a comfortable seat. Some of the plants grew a lot in the last six weeks. For example, the wildflower seeds. But also the zucchini. It has a lot of buds now. I think we will get a huge harvest this summer. Also the radish are already very big now. The balcony itself also doesn't look so boring anymore. 